Hey guys, welcome to Horror and Me. I'm your host, Aaron Mitchell. And on today's video, it should be a very special video. If you guys have been following my channel for a long time, you know that I, I uh, toy hunter for a long time. Uh, I've kind of gotten away from it more than I wanted to over the last few months. Uh, but I really, really wanted to start coming back and doing toy hunting. Um, the problem with that and the reason why pretty much is because a lot of the spots that I would toy hunt have been closing down. Uh, uh, Toys R Us just closed down nationally, which we all know. Um, obviously, you guys know that I'm super into NECA, and those are the things that I pretty much collect, as well as many other things, but NECA is pretty much my go-to for figures. Uh, so, with that being said, I had always said in, in toy hunting videos in the past that, oh man, now that Toys R Us is going out of, out of business, it would be amazing if like Target or Walmart or any of these other big box companies would pick up the NECA brand uh, and also like Mezco and stuff like that too so I was really pleased to hear that Target as of August, as of August 3rd 2018 was going to be starting to carry NECA the cool thing about that is I have three very close targets to me um, so this now opens up more options for me to toy hunt again and try to find these NECA pieces that I've been wanting and, and actually getting out there and finding stuff out in the wild. So today is that day, finally. I've been waiting for this day. It is August 3rd, 2018. Uh, I have to go to work. I'm on my way to work now. But after work, I'm going to try to hit up at least two of the targets. Uh, there is one that's directly on my way home. Um, and then there's another one closer, close by. So I think I'm going to hit at least two targets today after work. Um, I hear there's rumors that the spider gremlin is out and that is the exclusive $60 figure that they're having, that they have at target, uh, for the release day. I'm not really sure. There's also some other rumors that, uh, there are more target exclusives that haven't been really, uh, announced, uh, that we may see. So it's going to be an interesting day. It should be a pretty interesting hunt. Uh, it's going to be so weird to see like a NECA display uh, at a Target. Um, a buddy of mine uh, was not, was at a Target not too long ago, and he was asking them if they can give him any information about what NECA was going to be like in a Target. Uh, they did confirm with him that they will have a self-built display stand um, for the NECA releases. So when you are going to Target, look for that, okay? Obviously, they have their little toy sections, but I'm thinking it's probably going to be some sort of end cap uh, that they built in the stores. So that's that's a good little uh, little tip if you're going to be going uh, today or this weekend. Uh, I'm sure that a lot of people are going to be hitting up these targets because of the fact Toys R Us has been closed. So uh, I would, if I were you, I would try to get out there this weekend, see what you can find. Because uh, I'm sur sure some opening day stuff should be pretty cool there. So I just want to say I'm excited, guys. Uh, this is the day we've been waiting for for a long time, especially me. Uh, I've, again, wanted to start toy hunting again more regularly. So I'm really happy that I'm going to be able to do that. So I just want to say I will talk to you guys later after work. Um, I will get with you uh, once I get out and I'll sign on the video and then we'll head to Target together. So I will see you guys later. All right, guys, so it is now after work. Thank you, Jesus. Today was a terrible day at work. It was just one of those horrible days where people are fighting at work. Uh, staff are stressed out. It's the end of the week. It was just one of those real shitty days, to be honest with you. So I'm super happy that I'm on my way to Toy Hunt Target for NECA for the very first time. Uh, again, like I explained this morning, um, as of today, NECA will be, uh, sold in stores at Target's. Um, I did get some information today that I'm going to share with you guys before we get to the store. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping, honestly, I said this morning that I'll hit up two targets. Um, but the target I'm going to go to first is brand new. Uh, it was just open in my city, um, maybe a month ago. It's pretty brand new. It's one of the new layouts for the Target stores, so I feel like that's going to be our best bet to find some things. Um, if I don't see a few things that I'm looking for, I will go to the other one, but I'm hoping I can pick up all the stuff at this one store, make this a short, sweet toy hunt. Um, but what I want to tell you guys first is I was talking to a few friends that had already gone out to a Target today uh, while I was at work. <clears throat> 
uh, a few people I talked to said they can find absolutely nothing at their targets. So I don't know if it's been released nationally, NECA to the stores, or if they're just starting to sp sporadically pop up over the next week or two. Uh, I don't know if this has been, like I said, something that it was rolled out to every store on this date. On this date, uh, so I'm not sure. Um, so some people said they had no success. They went to the stores. Uh, they didn't see anything. Um, they even asked employees w what they knew about it or why they didn't have NECA stuff. And some of the employees didn't even know. Uh, so that was a little discouraging at first. Uh, then I talked to a few of my buddies not even an hour ago, uh, and some of them had picked up some stuff from, from Target today. So uh, my uh, we're hoping for success today, obviously. Um, again, I'm hoping I hit up this first place and can find what I need or what I'm looking for. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys exactly what I'm looking for. I'm sure some of you guys can guess. Um, I've been kind of slacking, obviously, on some of my uh, some of my pickups. So if they do have a bunch of options, I may be grabbing a bunch of stuff today. Uh, I'm not really sure yet, but I will get with you guys when we get to the store. Again, um, not all these stores apparently have the stuff yet. Uh, another thing I do want to throw in just for you, if you are going to be going to a Target this weekend, uh, it was brought to my attention that the figures and the NECA display is not in the regular toy aisles, okay? So it's not where you see your Marvel stuff uh, that you would typically see at a Target. Uh, it, they are actually over by the DVDs where they keep the Funko stuff. So if you've ever been to a Target and you've noticed in the back of where they sell the Blu-rays and DVDs and the electronics section, there's a back wall there that has all the pops and stuff like that. Apparently that's where they're keeping the NECAs now. So that's what you want to look for when you go into the store. Don't get discouraged if you go to uh, the, the actual toy aisle and don't see them there uh, because apparently that's not where they are. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, I wish you guys all the success this weekend. I know a lot of you guys are going out to look for this stuff. Uh, a lot of people are excited about it. So, uh, yeah, that's all I have for now. I will get back to you when we are in the store, you guys. We're walking into the first Target now, so in the fashion of Cool Duder, which is an awesome YouTuber who uh, Blu-ray and DVD hunts. Uh, just because this is the first time I'm getting to go into a Target to Toy Hut. In his fashion, into Target we go. So I have my handy Target card here now. Hopefully this thing will be filled up with NECA by the time I uh, leave the store. But uh, yeah, this is the new, newer ones. I don't know how many people have newer Targets by them, but it's like a superstore. So that's why I was saying I think it's the best option for the first place. So I'm going back to where I was told I should be able to find the NECA display. I've actually never been in this Target before, so. Okay, so we're approaching like the toy aisles. I'm just gonna keep filming so you guys can see where I kind of find them. So, what do we do? Hmm, this actually looks. And games. Let's just see. Because I don't know if every target's going to be set up the same. This one was 20. So there's some DuckTales. We still have all the Marvel Legends stuff. You'd think it would probably be over with this stuff, but you never know. Let's see. It looks like they have started to sell some Bandai. Um, the Kenner stuff, re release. Hmm. Okay. I didn't see anything. Let me just squeeze this last one. It's okay. All right, let me find where these pops and stuff are. I think it's over here. Sorry, I'm gonna keep this section unedited so you guys can see what I'm finding here. Hmm. 
Hmm. I might not be going to the right spot. There's the, there's the pop stuff, so. Hey man, is this all your NECA that you have in store right now? I know today's the release day for NECA. Target. I think so, yeah. Okay. Okay, so it looks like we have part two, which we do Good need. Uh, yes, we have that. Final chapter we have. I think I have all of them with this part two. Okay, so as you can see, it's, it's still small. It's still, again, first day. Um, I have these. Like some Rick and Morty stuff, some Stranger Things stuff. So I think we will go to the other Target. Um, since this is the only one, it looks like. I'll do another cruise by, but I have been needing this one. This one's really cool. I'll turn the camera back on if I find anything else in this store. All right, I looked uh, in the back of there then and I found the original Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, um, what, do you, what do you call it? <laughs> I'm having a brain fart right now. Ultimate, sorry. I don't know if I have this one or not. I can't remember, so I'm just gonna buy it anyways. Uh, I know I don't have that one. Um, if I end up having two of these, I'll, I'll give it away, but yeah, so I'm going to pick these two up. I'm just going to do another cruise by because it looks like they kind of did beef up their other toy sections too, other than NECA stuff. So I do another cruise by, um, and then I will go to the other target because it's worth checking out. So, all right. So we just came out of that first target, <clears throat> surprised, happy, uh, did not see the NECA display. Uh, I was talking to one of the workers. He was actually bringing stuff out. Uh, that's how I ended up seeing that Nightmare on Elm Street one. But um, he says that's all, what what he had out already was just uh, all they had right now. Um, he they just had more of them that he had to unbox yet. Um, but I didn't see their display stand, which is kind of surprising. Uh, I thought we would actually see something that said like NECA or NECA sold here or something like that. But we didn't. So um, I'm just curious to see what this other target might have uh and also if they have a display stand or whatever but but uh it was confirmed uh when you are going to go into your store you will not see them in the toy sections you will see the NECAs over where the pops and Funko stuff is at the back of the store along that back wall so that's where you want to head to um again i didn't know if i'm just sitting at a light here now so i'll show you but i didn't know uh if i had this uh this one the Nightmare on Elm Street one. I think I do, um, but I, I honestly don't remember. So I have so many Ultimates and they're all library out and it's just been, everything's all over the place. So I don't know, but I definitely did not have this part two, which I was happy about. So I definitely got a, a pickup that I know I needed. I thought that was upside down for a second that I know I needed. And this one's really, really cool. Sorry, I'm driving and showing you at the same time, but yeah, yeah. really, really cool. Um, I love this one a lot, actually. There's a ton of accessories. There's a campfire, um, mother's head, the unmasked uh, Jason. So very cool. Happy with that. I really, really want that spider gremlin. I really hope this next one has it. Uh, I know it's going to be coming to targets. I just don't know if it's going to be coming on opening day. So I'm not sure. It was actually funny. I was talking to the guy in there when he was putting the stuff out and he says, we don't even have these figures in our system yet. So that's how new this is. Um, if Target doesn't even have it in the system yet, it's, I mean, it just dropped today. Um, I also asked him, I was like, hey, have a lot of people been in like, like looking for this stuff? And surprisingly he said he's been there pretty much all day for a shift and in that back in the electronics section and he hasn't really had many people asking about it. So. I don't know if this is like a little niche type thing for us collectors on YouTube and stuff. Um, or, <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I got scared. I was like, oh man, it's they're gonna be a target. It's gonna be so much harder to find stuff. 
people are going to be everywhere for this stuff. But, you know, at the end of the day, I think about it and I'm just like, okay, not everyone is into NECA, okay? Not everyone uh, will go for that horror stuff. So it might not be as bad as we thought. Um, again, there was a bunch in there because uh, he was pulling stuff out. But uh, I really do want the Spider Gremlin. I hope we can find it. Um, I want I wanted the original one. Uh, that's one that I don't have. It's super expensive now. It's over like 300 bucks. So uh, to be able to get this re-release of it would be really cool. Um, and definitely a lot cheaper. Um, speaking of cost, I did notice the cost difference. Oh my God. There's the Oscar Mayer wiener. Holy shit. <laughs> did you guys see that? Into target number two, we go. Okay, so we're in this target now. This one's more established. It's been here for, for years now, so. Hopefully we can find stuff. I think I passed the pop stuff. <laughs> uh, let's just go to this back wall. Do I see a NECA sign? I do not. Let's hope we have more luck. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. So, there is more here. Um, at least they have stuff out. <laughs> they have the good guy Chucky here. They didn't have this one at the last one. We have this already, obviously, but they have the 3D oh, part three, the final chapter, Jason Lives. This is a new one, actually. I have the others. I might grab that just because I have all the others. So I might pick that up. What else do we have here? They have more of the Nightmare on the Streets and the uh, Freddy's Revenge. Uh, they have some body knocker stuff. They have those Chia Pads. I can't wait to put the horror ones out. I don't see any of the horror ones. Um, just want to look at where they're going to be putting stuff if, if we can expect something different. Um, I just want to make sure there's anything new that I'm missing. This one's janked up, but I will grab this one. That box looks decent. So I'll throw that in. I will also go through the, uh, I like the Mortal Kombat stuff. Katana. That's pretty dope. Oh my god, I kind of want Scorpion. Oh, uh, the 15 bucks? So it looks like I have both versions of the Scorpions. Whoops. <laughs> and Katana. I kind of want these, I'm not going to lie. Look how badass this is. Look at that thing. Limited Chase, I'm buying it. I'm getting all of them. There's another chase. They even have the original Sub-Zero them too. Yeah, I'm getting them. And yes, you guys know I don't like Funko, but I do like these. And I'll pick up Katana too, just so I have one. And I'll be well on my way to uh, having a decent set of these. Okay, so there's what, five figures? Uh, let me look in the back here. I'll make sure there's no difference with the katana stuff. No. Okay. Um, oh, they have the vinyl Pennywise and Georgie. If you guys are interested in that. I'm not, but some of you may be. So you can probably find that. Let me just cruise through this stuff over here. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, they have more of that Stranger Things stuff. Uh, they have more vinyl stuff. Dustin Lucas. Uh, the Stranger Things glasses, which are really cool. Um, some of the mystery boxes. Stranger Things dorbs. And that looks like it's about it. So. Let me go do a cruise by. 
uh, in the toy section and see if there's anything over there. If not, I'll get back with you guys in the car. Okie dokie. So we are now out of the second Target. Picked up some really cool stuff. I'd have to say I am loving the fact that there's NECA and some new exclusives and stuff like that coming to Targets. It's just, it's a lot of fun, actually. Uh, it's, it's definitely different. I'm so used to like toy hunting in like comic shops and stuff like that. Uh, so it's just weird going into like a, a big box store and finding stuff that I need for my collection. It just feels weird, uh, but I'll get used to it obviously. Uh, but I wanna show you guys uh, the haul for today. Everything was picked up at between the two targets I went to. Uh, so let's just recap the first store. First store, we found the Nightmare on Elm Street. Again, I do not know if I have this one or not. I know I have a few of them. I'm just not sure if it was if I the specific one I have, but really, really cool. Lots of awesome accessories, the tongue coming through the telephone, um, different heads, stuff like that. Really, really cool. So we got that. Uh, then I picked up this ultimate that I needed, the part two. <clears throat> really cool. Do a spin on the box. <clears throat> Show you the inside again. Very, very nice. Love the bonfire accessories and the head and stuff like that. Really, really cool. So we got that. That was store number one. Definitely had more success at store number two. They had more of the stuff already out, which was cool. So they're definitely on, on their game. Uh, so let's start with the next NECA. Uh, I picked up the Godzilla versus Destroya uh godzilla i do have all of them that have come out so far uh in this new style japanese packaging uh so when i went when i saw it i was like you know what i have to get it uh i will always regret it if i don't and i never find them again so picked up this one really really cool i have the color scheme on this one you guys can see a little bit better on the back so very cool so we picked that up set that down uh, then I went, I saw that they had some Mortal Kombat X figures, so I picked them up too. They were at a decent price. I think they were like $14.99. Um, I get points back on our Target card, so I figured, you know what, why not? So, I grabbed them. So the first one we got was Katana. Let me get in close on that. Really, really cool. And what I like about these is, because Funko and Super 7 are so close, um, they've started doing the Masters of the Universe re, uh, re-releases, so they're they look exactly like the original Masters of the Universe bodies. So this body almost looks like it was the old um, uh, sorceress figure. So I like that. So we got Katana. Then we picked up Scorpion. This is the regular version of Scorpion. You guys can see, so you can really start seeing the old kind of He-Man style body, which I really like. That's kind of what uh, intrigued me about these. Not necessarily that it's Mortal Kombat, even though I do love Mortal Kombat, but uh, yeah, so we got him. Then we grabbed Sub-Zero. Uh, Sub-Zero comes with his like ice, like mallet too that you see in the video game, but again, that stained body style, really, really nice figure. Then when I saw that there was two of the chases there, that's kind of what uh, tipped me over the edge to grab the rest, so. Uh, this one was really cool. This is the first one we saw that struck me. Uh, this is the limited chase edition of the Sub-Zero. Really, really awesome. Sorry, my mirror is like in the way. Really, really cool. He has his, uh, his mallet again, and he also has his ice sword on the side. Has the limited chase in the corner sticker. So that was cool. Then they also had the chase of the Scorpion figure which is him with his two blades and also the fire head, which is awesome. You guys can see there. And I was looking at the backs. It looks like, I don't know how many are out beside the chases, but it looks like they also have a Raiden and a Liu Kang. You guys can see on the back. So I'll have to look out for them. But just looking at the back here, it looks like I have all of them except for Liu Kang, Raiden, and then possibly their variants of Katana, Raiden and Liu Kang. So we'll have to see over the next few weeks what pops up. But eight figures today, guys. Not a bad haul at all, I have to say. Um, definitely grabbed more than I thought I was going to. I thought I would see more NECA than some of these other things, but uh, you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. But I, again, I'm just super happy to be able to go to this location to be able to toy hunt. I mean, that's really cool to me. 
Uh, again, if you guys are looking for that stuff, go right back to the DVD Blu-ray sections along that wall. That's where you're gonna find them. They were there at both stores, so that can be confirmed. Uh, sorry about the sun. <laughs> um, but yeah, really, really fun hunt tonight. Uh, I hope you guys have a successful weekend going to your targets and finding this stuff. Uh, I wish you all the luck. Uh, if you guys are not subscribed to this channel, please do. I have a lot of cool stuff coming up. Uh, leave me a like and a comment. Let me know about the things you saw me pick up today on opening day of NECA at Target. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So take care. Hey, thanks for watching my video. If you guys enjoyed this content and would like to see future episodes of Horror and Me, please subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to keep in contact with me to see more of my content, you can check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Just search Horror and Me. See you guys next time.